Hi everybody, we got a beautiful question. Foremost, let me draw the circle. Okay, so we have a circle. We are expected to find the area of the circle. Now, the circle is inscribed inside a triangle. So, let me draw the triangle. Okay. Apparently, I have just gone a little bit overboard, but I will try to manage that. Okay, so we got a circle inscribed. Let me name it. I just want to name that as A and B and C. So this is the circle inside the triangle. Now we got the following measurement given. This is given to be as 122 centimeters. This is 120 centimeters and this is 22 centimeters. Right? This is the data that's been given. We are expected to find the area of the circle. Now this question is a bit challenging question but if you know the formula it is simple so what is the formula the formula is we got a ratio connecting the triangle with the radius of the circle so I'm going to use that formula so what is that formula the formula is area or I should say the ratio of the area of the triangle to the perimeter of the triangle is equal to the radius of the circle divided by 2. So this is the formula. So the ratio of the area of the triangle to the perimeter is equal to the radius of the circle divided by 2. So, now clearly what I'm going to do is first let me take the area. Okay, let me write that down. Let A be the area of triangle ABC and let P be the perimeter of triangle ABC. And then let R be the radius of the circle. So this means if I were to take this as 1, 1 will be A over P is equal to R over 2. You cross multiply, you get R is equal to 2 times A over P. Right? Now area of triangle ABC. I'm going to use the Aaron's formula because of the presence of the three sides. This is this information is given, right? We got a scalene triangle with three sides. So the formula is S into S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where S is equal to A plus B plus C divided by two, and the perimeter. And P is equal to A plus B plus C. Perimeter is known. We can easily calculate. So let me calculate the perimeter. So P is equal to 120 plus 122 plus 22. So let me add this up. 120 plus 122, 2, 4, 2. And then you got 22. So this is 4, 264. So P is equal to 264. Okay, that is all right. So S is equal to 264 divided 264 divided by 2. So that's going to be 
one, three, two. Now we need to find out the area. So area is equal to okay. So we can just place in the values and simplify. So S is one three two. So I'm just going to place one three two times one three two and all the sides. We got one twenty two, one twenty and twenty two. It doesn't matter in what order, just place the sides. So this is going to be one twenty two times 132 minus 120 times 132 minus 22 so we will perform the operation so this is going to give me and 132 so this is equal to root of this is what I've got now this can be further rewritten as 132 is nothing but 11 times 12 I got a 10 and 12 110 is nothing but 11 times 10 so this is equal to root of 11 11 11 squared 12 12 12 squared and then 10 10 10 squared so if you were to take the root you get 11 times 12 times 10 so 11 into 12 is 132 times 10 that's going to give you 1320 this is the area Square units, but we are not interested in obtaining the area. Okay, so after getting the area, we need to obtain the radius, and we have this formula: r is equal to two times a divided by p. Now a is one three two zero, and p is two six four. Two divides here one, two divides here three times, and two times. So. 1320 divided by 132 that's going to be 10 so therefore r is equal to 10 units so that is the end of this beautiful question thank you everybody